Christmas. <laughs> well, um, he brought uh, he brought a uh, a, a jack o' lantern. Oh. Can you hold that up to the camera so they can see that? Thank you. That's uh, that's a zappo lantern, I guess, huh? Uh -huh. Isn't that clever? Let's, let's hold it up next to the real thing and see how they compare. Oh, whoa, it's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Reagan, for coming down and joining us today on People Are Talking. Yes. Any other good lies? <laughs> Ronald Reagan's not one of your favorites. No. He's not your, fa he's, he's not your favorite president. Not at all. No. Not at all. Well, there are some... But let's be honest about it. You know, I could be, come on here and be nice, but I'm not going to. <laughs> right. Said, I think it's too important, you know. It's, I don't like people who lie like that. All right. As long as we're here, and, and you're involved in, in, in rock and roll, of course, and, uh, and it is Halloween, maybe we can draw those two things together. A lot of people... Uh, or not a lot of people, but some people are concerned that rock and roll has satanic influences in it, that it really represents the forces of the devil. You're one of the people that they say uh, is a devil worshiper and has... Uh, uh, and you're not only one of them, but that there is... Uh, the, the forces of evil are present in rock and roll. How do you respond to those sort of allegations? Well, first of all, they have never suggested that I was a devil worshiper. They wouldn't dare, because I don't believe in the devil. The devil is something for Halloween. It's a cartoon. There's plenty of statistical evidence to indicate that a man named Jesus Christ was actually alive on this planet. I see nothing in a book that proves there's a guy with horns and a tail, okay? So, it, if you want to believe in the devil, go ahead. But I think that to promote this medieval idea in 1980 is really bad mental health. The other thing is, that if there is evil in the record industry, it's from the lawyers and it's from the executives and it's from the people at the record companies, but it's not from the devil. Okay. But you know these people that believe in the devil, they don't think that it's just in rock and roll. You remember the thing about Mr. Ed, don't you? Mr. Ed? No, what is Mr. Ed? There was a thing. Uh, do you get CNN here? You watch the cable news network? Yeah, there's Mr. Ed. That's, uh, okay, well, they, I saw this story on CNN. There was a, a preacher in Ohio. They, they had videotape of a record burning. There's all these kids in the middle of the night burning Billy Joel posters and records, and, and this preacher had discovered, and I don't know how he did it, that the theme song for Mr. Ed, played backwards, says, Satan is the source. Now, now, what kind of a preacher has time and energy to get the Mr. Ed theme song, plays it backwards, and hears that, you know? But he got his name on television, so maybe he got a couple extra donations that week. That's the reason why they do this stuff. Okay, how, how are your kids doing? I heard they bought, Dweezil's going to be an MTV VJ, is that? Yeah, he's uh, got a contract to do 12 weeks a year. Where, where did you get the names for your kids, if you don't mind my asking that? I make them up. <laughs> Did you ever think that by, by naming a kid Moon Unit that it might make their life tougher for them? How about if you name your kid Ralph? <laughs> <laughs> what, if, so, what, what if your parents called you Wendell? What happens to you when you're growing up? You don't know. There's nothing wrong with Dweezil and Moon. Well, how did you get Moon Unit for a name? Well, uh, she was born just as I went on my first European tour, okay? And my wife was pregnant, I had to leave and go, and as I'm walking out the door, she says, what do I call the kid? I said, well, if it's a girl, you call it Moon, and if it's a boy, you call it Motorhead. <laughs> <laughs> but she's happy she had a girl. Yeah. So there might have been a Motorhead Zappa. There could have been. Yeah. Let me go into the studio audience here, and, uh, uh, all right, before I do that, let me introduce you to somebody, though, who, um, who is going to be down at the uh, Sands Hotel Casino and Country Club. He is... Uh, a master illusionist, but with a with a very definite flair and unique twist that is all his own. He is Jeff McBride. He's a new wave illusionist. He's going to be at the Sands Casino Hotel and Country Club tomorrow, November 1st at 7.30 and 9.30. Please put your hands together and welcome Jeff McBride. <laughs> 